So a day ago I received a comment from um, at E Stockburn four nine three three. He was had a reply to a short from some days ago on the helium migration to Solana. I guess this was several weeks ago. But the question is, um, you know, he got some helium. Um, can we get back to fifty dollars in twenty twenty three? And um I didn't know what the chart looked like at the time. I don't know much about the project. Um uh maybe the better question is can helium get back to all time highs um in the years to come. Um as I don't think uh helium's getting to fifty dollars um this year. Maybe as we get closer to Bitcoin having, it's possible. I don't, I don't know, but nevertheless, I did some research on uh, the project, and uh, you know, let's let's get into it a little bit before we look at the charts. All right, so this is uh, revolutionizing the future, exploring the capabilities of the Helium blockchain. Um, they want to provide and secure uh, a platform for uh, the Internet of Thing devices. Uh, the blockchain was launched in 2019, and um, I only know about them because of their their rapid growth. Um, and I believe you can buy these these devices um, that talks to the blockchain. I think on Amazon. I'm not sure, but uh, you can buy out there. You can buy these devices um, at retail stores. Uh, the network now has over 600,000 hotspots deployed in over 160 countries. Uh, let's talk about the people who are behind the blockchain. You have Sean Fanning, Amir Halim, and Sean Carey. Um, Halim is also, uh, well he's the CEO of Helium. Fanning is co-founder of Napster. Uh, carries the former CTO of Mozilla, so um, some well-known businesses um, that these uh, folks are associated with. All right, so the Helium blockchain is a decentralized and secure platform for Internet of Thing devices. It enables low power and low bandwidth devices to connect to the internet without relying on centralized servers, making it more efficient and cost-effective. Helium blockchain uses proof of coverage to ensure network coverage and incentivizes users to participate. So what are the benefits? Um, they include cost efficiency, security, and scalability. Uh, we'll get into the scalability in a minute um, as a migration to Solana kind of is going to assist with that scalability. It eliminates the need again for the uh, centralized service, reducing cost and improving security. It also enables devices to communicate directly with each other, improving scalability and reliability. Okay. Uh, use cases uh, can be used um, or integrated into smart homes, um, healthcare, logistics. It's efficient and secure platform can be used to connect devices and automate processes, making them more efficient and cost effective. Helium also enables the creation of new business models, revenue streams. Um, Talk about the challenges. Um, although benefit of security, it's also a challenge, right? Um, people are always building better mousetraps. So you got network coverage as a challenge. Um, 600,000 hotspots right now. I'm sure that's going to grow over time. Um, however, the Helium community is driven to approach also allows for collaboration and innovation to overcome these challenges. Um, so again, Helium migrated to Solana on the 18th of April. Uh, so it was a strategic move to help capitalize on Solana scalability, low transaction costs, and high performance capabilities. Uh, the migration to Solana offers key benefits for the Helium network. Again, enables the I, the Internet of Things, and mobile networks to support even greater scale. Supports more sophisticated proof of coverage algorithms, 
It enhances the network's robustness, making it an even more robust solution for high demand applications. Um, so one thing to note regarding, um, you know, I always like to look at the tokenomics. Um, Helium blockchain has a total of, of over 200 million tokens. Tokens are distributed through a proof of coverage mining model where miners earn the Helium network um, HNT tokens for providing coverage to the network. Um, now, price of the Helium token has crashed in recent months. Um, probably crashed over the last, I should say, 12 months or so, 24 months. Due to a number of factors, including the overall decline in the crypto market so we were in uh, crypto winter for about I don't know 12 to, eight, 12 to 16 months kind of in that spring um, season right now um, I think they're addressing the scalability uh, by moving to Solana network and you have competition such as the things network which I never heard of until I created this presentation all right, so let's go to the uh, charts. And the question was from E. Stockburn: Can we see fifty dollars by the end of the year? My humble opinion is no. Um, no, it can't cannot no way it's happening all right just looking at this huge decline um, question is can what can it hit what level can it hit by the end of 2023 all right for that we gotta zoom into a small time frame but you can see these wicks indicating selling pressure um, that's gonna be the, f the, the first major hurdle um all right so support becomes resistance so selling resistance was support at the 350 dollar level question is can it hit 350 by the end of the year that that would be more reasonable but um we're in may i don't know I don't know. I'm going to say no if I had to give you an answer. Let's go to the uh, weekly chart. All right. Okay, so I already drew it out. I'm going to take that monthly zone out the way, and we, this is the this is how it looks on the weekly chart. All right. Support, resistance, resistance, resistance. Uh, it's about 3:30, 3:25. Now we were on a verge of a cup and handle formation, but that formation was forming right under resistance. And then we had a sell off. And that sell off took out lower lows. All right. So the question is are we going to make lower lows um, is this just a correction before we see the next impulse move so impulse correction question is is that going to be um, the next impulse move down or is it a double bottom and um, are we going to see a a W pattern I don't know. Um, 
let's go to the daily chart to try to get some clues all right so if I look at my RSI I would love to see this curl up a bit right to entertain the formation of a double bottom to say that we have positive divergence we have equal lows but on the RSI we are making we made a higher low right so that would be an indication that the momentum to the downside is dwindling you know potentially we are um, at a bottom at a bottom not to say that price can't make another lower low but potentially we are at a bottom basing um, we are at that accumulation um, phase in anticipation of price moving higher over the next 12 to 18 months so um, can it hit three dollars by the end of the year how far away were we when we were at three dollars this was February of this year okay um, so it's very possible if uh, Bitcoin can um, right now Bitcoin is consolidating maybe we see another leg higher in the fall um, um, $3, three dollars three three thirty three fifty that is more reasonable e stock burn um, but fifty dollars by the end of the year no way thanks for watching subscribe please like the video